What's going on guys, my name is Sean. Uh, basically today is just gonna be a little walk around of my shop just to show you guys all the cars that I have. Uh, I just wanna do like an update video just to basically show the status of all of my cars as well as all the projects that I have that aren't on the channel yet. Um, so I haven't really showed you guys around my shop but I'm gonna do a little walk around just so you guys can see uh, what it looks like and um, where I am most of the day working on, on these cars. So uh, yeah, let's have a look around. <laughs> Alright guys, so as soon as I leave my house, uh, basically you can see the shop, it's in the back uh, right of my property. So I'm just going to do a little walk out, I'll show you all the cars in their current condition. Okay, so this is a 2013 Subaru BRZ, this is like the first build that I did on this channel. Um, I rebuilt the, the uh, Hyundai Genesis Coupe first, uh, but it kind of inspired me to build more cars. So I started on this one. Um, this one, I basically it was in a front end collision. I had to rebuild the front end. As you can see, some of the parts aren't matching. It has carbon fiber fenders, black hood, um, and a rocket bunny bumper and new headlights. So I had to replace all that as well as rebuild the engine because it sucked down some plastics and some rocks and stuff when it was into the accident because it broke the intake manifold. So this has a fresh engine in it. Uh, I rebuilt, which is on my channel as well. So you can go down and watch all those videos if you're interested in uh, BRZ FRSs. Um, it's in pretty good condition. It's, I'm actually, think I might be selling it, but I, I probably won't. Just, I just want to keep it because it's, like I said, it's a fresh engine. I can just drive it occasionally. Um, but I have a lot that I want to do to this car if I do decide to keep it. Alright, so this is my 1993 Mazda RX-7, it's a touring edition, uh, I just picked this one up and I released a video on it, but this is um, on my channel as well, so you can go in there and look at it. It's in very good condition, the interior is in perfect condition, it needs new paint uh, and an engine, but for the most part it's all there, it's a clean title. This is the Hyundai Genesis Coupe that I have, like I said this was the first car I ever rebuilt, uh, I did it at my dad's house when I used to live there uh, in his garage. This car uh, is currently wrapped, it has an exhaust. Um, so I, when I went down to do the inspection on it, I had to make sure everything was either repainted or rewrapped or whatever. So I had to wrap, I actually wrapped the hood carbon fiber and the trunk as well as the roof in like a sticker bomb theme. Uh, but I plan on replacing that with actual carbon fiber parts. I uh, just, for now I had to do that. So it's kind of cheesy, but this is the look that I wanted. So I just ended up doing it in that color. But this car, was in an accident as well. It needed a whole new front suspension. Um, it needed a new fender. The wheel was busted. That whole quarter panel was smashed in, so I uh, had to, I drilled it out and put a new one on, and then had it all welded in. So this car is wrapped in vivid. Um, final wrap, it's a matte metallic navy blue. I think it's satin as well. So I do this myself, it took me around like 30 hours or so. There's some things that aren't done on it like the handles um, and the mirrors because they're kind of hard to wrap so I'm going to have to shop to actually do it. So it has an aftermarket exhaust. It's an ISR single exit. As well as, I forgot to say on my RX-7 as well, I have a single exit on there that came with the car. It's an excess power exhaust. but. It's not, nothing's really done to this car. The Genesis, I have an intake in it, but and a, a block off plate, so it makes like that um, the surge. So, sounds really good. Um, doesn't have any like a tune on it or anything, but that doesn't really matter. I'm not really looking to make a ton of power because this is my daily driver. I actually deliver pizzas and I'm a pizza delivery driver as well as uh, working at my business here. I just do that because it's fun. I get to drive cars around. But this is my truck. It's a 2004 Ford F 150. Super Crew FX4 edition, so it's all wheel, or four wheel drive. It's got the 5.4 V8 in it. Has a six inch Fabtech lift uh, with a, I think it's a Flowmaster exhaust. I, can't, I didn't put it on the car. Oh, the truck it was already there when I bought it, um, but it's kind of faded. I can't really see the design on it on the or the logo on the exhaust. So I don't know what brand it is, but it sounds good. Um, it's done everything I wanted. I, it hauls my cars around, so that's all I can ask really. All right, before we go into the garage, I'm going to show you over here. Um, that is a Volkswagen. I'm actually selling it for somebody else, but I'm getting like commission on it, so it's just here for now. 
Um, it has a bad transmission. I was gonna fix it, but I just, it's not really worth the time because the car's not worth anything. So I'm just gonna sell it for whatever I can get out of it. This is a 2010 uh, Hyundai Genesis Coupe. It's a V6, um, 3.8 liter. It's automatic though. Uh, we got it from somebody as just like a, um, the engine's blown in it. So my friend's gonna buy it and replace the engine here. Um, but if he doesn't, if he decides he doesn't have the money for it, he doesn't want to do it, then I'm probably going to buy it from him and replace it and then just flip it. So it has a complete arc body kit on it. The front fenders are a little wider. It has 20 inch wheels on it. Um, they're like $2,000 wheels, so they're pretty expensive. It's got an arc titanium exhaust. Just show you really quick. Quad tip. So that's about $1,500 as well. So I could probably park this car out if I wanted to, but I think it'd be best just to fix it and sell it because it. He hit a brick in it and it kind of broke the front bumper and stuff so I don't know I might just I might just part it out or sell it I don't really know but it's a touring edition so it has leather seats and everything this is my friend's Miata uh, I'm not really gonna do much on it because this is he's gonna be he's rebuilding this so I don't want to sh like show too much of it but to go into the shop now so this is my shop this is it's an RX-8 that I'm building, which I'll tell you about in a second. This is my dog, Bailey. Um, she is eight years old, as well as her brother. Can't really see him back there. That's Comet. So those are my two dogs. They're eight years old, they're brother and sister. Um, she's a female and he's a male. They're basically just shop dogs. They wander, wander around. But this is my RX-8. It's a 2006 Shinka edition. So when I bought the car, it was a rolling shell. It didn't have an engine. Uh, I guess that was what the rolling shell is. So I purchased an engine, I'm throwing it in. Um, I have an intake and a bunch of other aftermarket parts, which you'll see some videos on soon. So this one, I'm pretty much gonna be trying to do forced induction or going to be putting a, like a, just a supercharger on it, either turbo or supercharger, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, Whatever is probably cheaper because this car's not really worth that much. But uh, this car is gonna be for myself. So there's gonna be a lot of videos on it. I'm gonna be building this. But yeah, if you can see from here, this is my shop. So it's like a little barn style shop. Um, it has a car lift in it. So you, I can lift the cars up, do engine swaps and whatever else I need. So it's got these big barn style doors that open as well as a side door that you can enter if, once these doors are closed. But yeah, this, the shop has everything. It's got an air compressor. It's got a fridge that's not hooked up. I'm going to be replacing it with a newer one because that one's kind of like moldy. But I got like hoses um, to run air throughout the whole shop. It runs all the way around to the other side. Um, I got extension cables so I can have power throughout the entire shop. Um, yeah, I don't know, I got a shop fan. I got a huge desk, like a bench that goes all the way around the outside of the, sh the side of the shop. So, as well as rafters that go all along the tops. So I have tons of storage and uh, you can basically just work out of here like as you can see I got parts laying everywhere everything's organized because we have a couple of builds going on in here at the moment so we have the engine removal lift engine stand um, it's a bunch of random stuff so yeah I don't know I just wanted to do like a quick little walk around of the shop just so, so you guys can see just a little bit of what goes on um, and how we're able to do all that you don't really need to have a shop. I know, like I never did when I first started, but for now, um, this is it's a huge improvement. It came with our new house, so I'm stoked that we can actually use it. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I pretty much covered everything, but this is just a little review of my shop, a little walk around so you guys can see what's going on. Um, not really trying to cover much. Just basically for people who are following my channel or people who are interested in my cars, um, they can just do a little walk around, just see how I, I fix everything. So. Yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Um, you can subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. Like I said, I have a lot of builds um, going on right now as well as new cars coming in all the time. So yeah, give this video a like and we'll see you next time. Who's that on the other end of the phone? Didn't hear nothing when I said my hello. Oh well, to hell down we go. So high looking at heaven below. You know me though from coast to coast, we're smoking dope. Overdose with the Holy Ghost, but hold the phones, I hold my own. It's local grown, been killing this shit since road the boat. You know I'm supposed to hold the throne. Be honest, one more drink, I'm gonna be an alcoholic. I don't wanna take life, better run conscious. Stay fresh, everything's so toxic.